Today I'll be showing you 40 build hacks in Minecraft 1.21. Instead of spamming torches outside your base, you can make these street lamps using copper bulbs with the new tough and copper blocks. There are also many variations of the street lamp that you can make. If you add a block with copper trapdoors around, you can make an industrial ventilation system. You can even crawl through it. You can even add in copper grates which look like pipes. Copper grates can even be waterlogged to look like there is water flowing inside of them. Since the new crafter is a rotational block, the side texture can be used as a cabinet with a pressure plate on top. You can even store items nice. inside of it. The front and top texture of the crafter can be used as a stove or grill. By placing a campfire underneath to have smoke coming out of it, these would look perfect for a kitchen. The texture on the chiseled copper block kinda looks like a crate. You can even add copper trapdoors and copper grates. You can't really store items inside, but you can use raw ore blocks. There are also many variations of this crate. If your walls are looking kinda boring, you can put heavy cores on them like this. They fit perfectly on the pillars. These are indeed a flex to build with. By mixing stone bricks, tough bricks, deep slate bricks, and black stone bricks, you can make this cool light to dark gradient for your walls. The side texture of the chisel tough brick is okay, but the top texture is great to use as a floor. It even has this 3D effect. Nice. The bottom texture of the crafter can be used as tiles on a wall. You can even add in some polished deep slate. The bottom texture can also be used as a roof design. You can even mix in the bottom texture of the blast furnace. By using a mix of the new tough and copper blocks, you can make some nice chairs with a little table as well. There are many variations you can make with these. With your new chairs, you can add a crafter where you can play tic-tac-toe with your friends. It's your turn bro. Oh. Another build idea with your chairs is using the bottom texture of the crafter as a TV with levers as antennas. Wow, this is so entertaining. If you're tired of using glass, you can also use copper grates instead. They kinda look like barred up windows. You can even use these in prison cells. If your walls are looking plain, you can use the back texture of the crafter as a wall trim for your house. You can even use the new chisel tough blocks. By placing four crafters like this, with copper trap doors and slabs, you can make a wardrobe. If your dog is just sitting around what in the your house, doing? with tough stairs, you can make this cool design. And by decorating it with copper blocks, you can make a dog house. The dog fits perfectly inside. If your friends are sending you gifts, you can make a mailbox using a polished tough wall, a crafter, a slab, and a lever. Now your friends can't show you. If you have a parrot instead of a dog, you can make a cage by using pistons and obsidian to push a copper grate into your parrot. Now he's stuck in there forever. The side texture of the crafter also looks like a phone. By using a mangrove trap door and stairs, you can make a phone booth. The top texture of the crafter can also be used as a keypad. Since you can jump with the wind charge, you can make many different parkour courses with it. With the wind charges, you can also make a launch pad by using 5 dispensers filled with wind charges and a pressure plate. This is great to use with an elytra. Speaking about wind charges, you can make a simple elevator using the same design as the last build. This allows you to launch up over 30 blocks. If you have a cool little boat in your world, you can make an anchor. You can use a mixture of different polished tough blocks and grindstones as chains. You can even make a smaller one using a heavy core with copper trap doors for a rusty look. If you're going to make a steampunk style build, you can make these steampunk gears using different copper and acacia blocks. There are a lot of variations you can also make. Armadillos are cute little mobs. You can use them as unique rocks for a mesa biome style build. To make this work, just trap a zombie underground. Now they'll be scared forever. By making floating copper bulbs with a lever at the bottom, you can make those floating Chinese lanterns. You can even have different colors. If you're tired of going outside to get water, you can make this simple water dispenser with a waterlogged copper grate. Now you can fill your bottles with water for brewing. If you don't want to use dripstone, you can make your own custom ones using weathered copper, granite walls, and acacia fence. You can even make an icicle if you want. If you have a boring mining area, 
can make this industrial drill by using a mixture of copper, tuff, and dripstone, and many other blocks. It doesn't really work, but it looks cool. With the tough and copper blocks, you can even make this cool claw machine by using levers and lightning rods as the claw. If you're bored in Minecraft, by setting up a soccer net using quartz and cobwebs, you can use an armadillo as a soccer ball. If you spam punch the armadillo when it's in his shell, he will never die. Now I'm the Minecraft Ronaldo. If you're camping outside, by using trapdoors, a campfire, and a mangrove log, it kinda looks like you're cooking a piece of meat. The top texture of the crafter kinda looks like a keypad. By using a mix of copper blocks, you can make a keypad door. I'm not that good at redstone, so I guess you can try to make this work. By using weathered copper grates, you can make a rusty platform. You can even add copper trapdoors as a railing. I hope this doesn't collapse on me. If you didn't like the lamps at the start of the video, you can use tough walls and copper bulbs with a skulk sensor to make a motion sensor light. We all know that the mace is an OP weapon, but by placing it in an item frame on a table, it looks like a spoon. You can even add a heavy core as a cup. The front texture of the crafter kinda looks like it has a mustache. By using a lot of blocks such as copper, tuff, and acacia, you can make this cool robot. He doesn't work, but he looks handsome. This wall looks innocent, but if I throw a wind charge at this block, a door opens up. You can make this simple secret door by using pistons and a button like shown here. That's it for today guys. See you guys next time.